May 31st to order. The clerk, please call the roll. Calling the roll, Mr. Greenspan. Here. Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller is absent at the moment. Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones is absent at the moment. Mr. Harrison. Here. Mr. Gallagher. Here. Mr. Shrine. Mr. Shrine is absent at the moment. Ms. Brown. Here. There is a quorum. Okay. Uh, has anyone signed in for public comment? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. No one has signed in. Before us are the meeting minutes from the May 23rd meeting. Uh, we don't have a quorum, so we'll uh, dispense with approval of the minutes and hold those until our next committee meeting. Uh, we have no matters deferred to committee. We have an item for discussion, which was an item held over from the fiscal agenda, um, which had to do with the property demolition fund and transfer utilization of demolition funds for um, personnel-related costs. And um, I guess Mr. Glassburn will address the issue before council. Thank you for having me, uh, Chris Glassburn with the Executive Office. Um, what the administration would be proposing to do moving forward regarding uh, administration of the demolition fund would be to limit any uh, administrative expenses to 2% of the entire project. So of 50 million, 2% would be $1 million in total. Um, for 2015, the Department of Development had sufficient room in their budget to pay for all the administrative expenses, which was at the time in the vicinity of about $300,000. Um, when this project was initially um, started, it was not known how long the $50 million, how long it would take to dispense the $50 million. Um, the budget's plan, as we have right now, would be for the dispensement of funds through 2018. Um, the amount that we would be requesting long term would be sufficient to pay for all administrative costs through 2018. Now this is to say the administrative cost of the $50 million demolition fund that the county has set aside. There is the separate issue that we'll, we'll uh, get to later on, which is the hardest hit funds. Um, there are going to be some levels of costs that are associated with that that are going to be eligible for reimbursement. Um, but the county will have to put some money up front and then get reimbursed. Uh, and then secondarily, there will be some projects. Um, the, the way the federal funding works is that you need to go through the entirety of a project to get reimbursed. So there will be some projects, especially for the prosecutor's office, where they initiate and for whatever reason the project falls out of the queue and though that administrative cost would not be recoverable under the federal. So there will be some portion. We're not yet... Um, We've not determined the exact amount, but we're trying to figure out what portion of that may not be reimbursed. Um, but for the for the, ex the exclusive topic of today and of the fiscal agenda item that was initially uh, proposed is to address the $50 million of the of, for the demolition fund. Great, thank you. And just provide some context. Initially, when the demolition fund was introduced, uh, we heard testimony that the uh, administration would be able to absorb all of the related costs of the program. Uh, obviously, we're a few years in, and, and that no longer is the case. The, what Mr. Glassburn is talking about was a, was a discussion that the administration would present a letter, and we'll, we're going to get the letter by the end of the, end of the day. Uh, that would limit the uh, county's exposure or utilization of the demolition fund not to exceed 2%, which is the same limit that current municipalities are restricted from using uh, the demolition fund, which is outlined in the actual ordinance itself. So right now, there is no administration cap in the legislation. Um, it was our belief when the legislation was adopted that none would be necessary. However, it's now determined that some is. What we're doing here with this letter is coming up with an understanding that that our administrative costs will, be, will not exceed the same threshold and limits of a, of a participating municipality. So that's what we're that's what we're looking looking to do at this point. And and there was discussion of the hardest hit funds. And the the hope is is that the uh, county's participation and requirement of the hardest hit funds will be able to be covered by some of these costs as well. But it's on a reimbursement basis. So we're going to have to come up with the funds first to get reimbursed from the federal government. But it's not going to be for everything either. It's not 100% reimbursement. It's a 
partial reimbursement and sometimes no reimbursement if a project is not, if work is done on a project that is not uh, acted upon. Correct? Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So we're, we're, we're going to continue to hold this item because we don't have the letter yet in order to, to understand exactly what's in it. Um, but I'll open up the floor to any questions. Yes, Mr. Jones. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And, and Chris, um, again, my understanding was from the beginning that uh, the county would absorb the administrative costs. Uh, what has changed that, because it sounds like even before the hardest hit funds come, we're looking to use uh, these demolition dollars for our own 50 million. So I'm, st I'm not sure, you know, what, what has changed that we, uh, we, we're not, what has changed? It's a fair question. Um, I think that, um, first off, the, the I'll say that the previous administration made that promise, and I can't testify to fully knowing or understanding what was behind their thinking at the time. Um, what I can say is, is that um, I don't, again, I don't, I don't know that the previous administration contemplated that the $50 million would be used for over a four-year period or or would, would go as long as it as it's going. Um, secondarily, um, I'm, I'm just not certain that they were fully contemplating all of the costs associated with doing this. Um, it's we we know what the program is. We know what our costs are per project. We I mean we know what staff we need. Um, about uh, a little over half of the money that we're spending is for staff that currently exists that otherwise would have been on community development block grant funds but we use them to fill in for these projects. So we have a built-in, these built-in capacity to deal with it in terms of the staff, but when we reassign them to demolition, we can't keep paying them with the, community, the federal community development block grant. It's not a permitted activity. So I don't know, I, I can't testify to what their, their promise was at the time, but um, this is, um, we know what the program is and, and we're very comfortable that the what the letter you know the proposed cap of two percent would be sufficient to cover any uh, costs moving forward. Uh, two percent of fifty million dollars is one million. No, one million. One million dollars in over total. The, over in the total. In total, it's not per year. It's in total over the so, remaining life of the demo fund. Right. You envision that really capturing the needs once the hardest hit fund dollars come. Well, that, that amount of money would keep us able to work on our projects for this year, 2017, 2018, which is, the, which is in alignment with how we've allocated money for the budget. In this budget cycle, we've allocated um, $18 million, and in 2018, we were allocating the last of the $8 million. So, What are your administrative needs? Again, not considering the hardest hit funds, but just right now for the $50 million, what are your administrative needs? This year, um, budgeted, uh, we, we would be spending about $345,000. We're about 20000 underneath that as to pace right now due to some vacancy. So we, we're, we'll make sure we stay under the million-dollar cap or a 2% cap. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Okay. So we haven't – as soon as we get the letter, we'll yes. – we'll, we'll, Reconvene and and uh, and move forward with that. All yes. right. Any other any other discussion? No. All right. Thank you. Thank and, you very much. And what we'll do since we now have quorum, correct, Madam Clerk, we'll move back on the agenda up to the Sorry. approval of the minutes. Well, the approval of the minutes for May twenty third. Before the committee or the meeting minutes, are there any adjustments or amendments to the minutes? Hearing none, I'll make a motion to adopt the minutes of May twenty third. Motion is made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, the minutes are approved. Uh, before us, uh, are there, is there any miscellaneous business? Hearing none, any public comment? Uh, no, Mr. Chair, no one is signed in. All right, we stand adjourned. Thank you.